Did you miss a mini documentary about roller coasters? Of course you did. But we haven't had that many roller coasters at Lisebay, and I can't give you all at once, can I? I am going to start off with saying thank you to Lisebay and their amazing website Lisipedia. Without you, this video would be way more boring. Lisipedia is working with conserving all the history of Lisebay since the start, but even Lisebay themselves struggle to get information, pictures, and videos from the park. If you have pictures, videos, stories or other information that you think could be valuable for me to use here on the channel, please let me know in a comment or send me an email to info at lisebyguide.se. This is Coaster Stop, today with a mini documentary about an old fan favorite at Lisebay, the roller coaster Lisebay Sloopen. Lisebay Sloopen is still possible to ride. Not at Lisebay or Sweden, but in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. But more about that later. 1980, Lisebay opened Lisebay's Lupen, or mostly called Lupen. Lupen replaced the old steel coaster Super 8. I know what you're thinking. Where is the video about Super 8 or Super 8? It's coming, do not worry. What is Lisebay's Lupen? Lisebay's Lupen is a steel roller coaster made by Anton Swagskop. Remember another mini documentary. Anyway, it's this guy. Technical data of Lisebay's Lupen. The area it covers is 77 meters times 31.5 meters. That is 2426 square meters. The height is 24.5 meters, track length 592 meters, the length of the lift hill is 60 meters, the loop diameter is 14 meters, highest positive g-forces is 4.5, the maximum speed is 77 km per hour and it has one inversion. The weight of the ride is 260,000 kilos. It has three trains and 28 passengers per train. You sit two across in seven cars per train. Ride time is 1 minute and 18 seconds. The capacity is very, very good because it is 1,700 riders per hour. In 1980, when the roller coaster opened, it had an age restriction. Six years or ten years without a parent. Total amount of riders during its lifetime at Lisebay was 14.3 million and the best season was in 1995 with its 1,004,000 passengers. The cost to build this roller coaster was 14 million Swedish crowns. Lisebay's Lupen was the first attraction in Sweden that was put on a stamp. Lisebay was the first amusement park in Scandinavia to have a roller coaster with a loop. In the start of July 1980, a train stopped before reaching the station. Since the stop was so close to the ground, there was no danger. So the riders got to leave the train and walk along the track. The reason for the stop was a broken hose. The hose was changed and minutes later the ride was operational again. Fun fact, during 2020 Lisebay was, as we all know by now, completely closed. To have something fun to do, Lisebay made a poll on their social media, making us vote on the ride we missed most in the park. Lisebay's Lupen went all the way to the final together with Villa Uponir, or the Upside Down House, but lost the final. That's how popular this roller coaster was. 25 years after being removed from Lisa Bay, it won a silver medal. That is cool. In 1984, there were plans to move the roller coaster to the new area of the park, O Andra Sidan, on the other side, that opened in 1985. This was never done. 
In 1995, Lisebae Sloopen made its last season, was dismantled and sold. Lisebae Sloopen was replaced by a world unique roller coaster from Vekoma named Hangover. This roller coaster was not as successful and did not come without problems. If you want to know more about the history of Hangover, you can click the top right corner or press the link in the description. After being dismantled, Lisebae Sloopen was sold to a Brazilian amusement park in Sao Paulo named Play Center. Lisebae Sloopen got a new paint job, purple supports, green track, blue trains and a new name, Looping Star, which in fact was the original name of the roller coaster from the manufacturer. In 2012, Play Center closed and Looping Star was sold again. Looping Star got an all-white color scheme and opened as Looping Star again in 2016 at Ita Park, also in Brazil. Ita Park closed in 2018. Looping Star was sold yet again and in 2020 Looping Star opened for the fourth time but now in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, still known as, you guessed it, Looping Star. If anyone would be interested in riding our old icon from Lisebae, you can still do it. You just must go to Brazil and Tivoli Park in Rio de Janeiro. Much more history than this, I have not been able to dig up on this ride. It was hard to find pictures, videos and information since the roller coaster is that old. But I love to make these mini documentaries and preserve the information for the future. Thanks to all of you watching, contributing to the channel and sharing information with me. It is you that make this possible and it is you that makes me want to continue with YouTube. This is Coaster Stop and until we see each other next time, take care and ride safe.